Hello everybody. So, um, I just wanted to do a small info video uh, about upgrading the HP P7 1414 or I suppose any computer running the Micro ATX board MSI MS7778 or the Jasmine motherboard. Uh, I bought this computer a couple years ago. Uh, it's very cheap and uh, I more or less just bought it to have a computer because the one I had was crapping out and at the time I didn't have any money to either build a new one or buy something a little more higher end. So I bought this and I've been slowly converting it up uh, to something that actually is usable for PC gaming. Um, so uh, the, the motherboard. There's uh, two versions which could come in the HP P7 1414. There's the MSI MS7778 version 0 0.8, which is a blue motherboard, or the uh, version 1.0, which is the green motherboard. Now, the thing to note about this is uh, the 0 0.8, the max CPU, or the best CPU you can put in this, is the AMD A10 5800K, uh, which is a quad-core uh, CPU, which runs at 3.8 gigahertz. Um, so that's actually what I have in here, and I have no complaints about it. This one came with the AMD A6 5400K, which ran at 3.6 gigahertz, but was only a dual core. So the uh, the version one can go a little bit higher than the than the A10 5800K, but uh, I didn't really feel the need to spend that kind of money on something I'm probably going to be replacing soon, anyways. Um, I'm either going to uh, switch over to Intel and get an i7, or I'm going to get a new mother AMD motherboard, which uh, I can put a higher end AMD graphics or sorry CPU in. Um, so the other thing I did was I added more RAM. This thing, when I bought it, came with six gigabytes of RAM, which for me was not enough. So I bought. Uh, 8 gigabyte stick and uh, it was initially set up going from right to left as 4 empty slot 2. Uh, right now I have it as 4, 2, or sorry 8, 2, and 4. Um, I threw the 2 in there again because why not. Uh, so I'm currently sitting at 14 gigabytes of RAM which is certainly more than enough for me. Um, the other thing is the power supply. Now the 300 watt power supply is not really enough to power uh, the more modern GPUs. Uh, so I upgraded to the 600 watt one, which uh, at least for the time being is enough. Um, I can't really foresee me needing that much, but uh, it just seemed like a good moderate size to get. Uh, so I, I know it's kind of a rat's nest in here too. I'm planning on getting a new case which I can hopefully run the cables behind the motherboard. Um, because uh, yeah this is just it's it's cutting down on the airflow in there and it doesn't look very good so yeah I, I wouldn't mind something where I could either at least have the space to put the cables off to the side or as I said run the cables behind the motherboard and have them completely out of the way. Um, so the graphics card is an EVGA GeForce uh, 960. It's the 4 gigabyte super super clocked version um, and uh, I benchmarked it the other day and the average frame rate per second was 88, which is, in my books, at least really good. Um, I went up from that, actually, from the internal graphics card that was on my CPU, which is the Radeon HD 7660, and uh, I've been playing Fallout 4, I mean, since it just came out, and on the IGP it was uh, on low settings and kind of skipping, kind of laggy, 
but uh, with this graphics card I've got it on ultra and uh, it looks great um, so I think I covered pretty much everything uh, CPU upgrade RAM graphics card uh, power supply um, I'll do another video soon I guess if I end up getting a new case just to show you kind of uh, well for one that uh, you know hopefully this could look a bit better have uh, have better cable management uh, more space and uh, I hope this helps you if you have uh, this motherboard or this computer and are looking to upgrade um, I know I'm going to catch some flack about the, the messiness of the case, but uh, still, I hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.